This is Guilherme Trevzon, and in this video I want to show you how to use my Maya to Discord script. This will let you quickly send images and videos from Maya to Discord using a webhook. The first time you run the script, it will ask you to enter webhook in the settings. If you have a Discord server or the right privileges, you should be able to create a webhook, like I'm doing here. Now, if you're just a user, you can ask an administrator to create one for you. You can see you can change the name, channel, and some other settings for your webhook, but the only thing I want now is the webhook URL. Now, just paste it in the settings and click on Apply. If it worked, you should see the name of your webhook under webhook name on the script window. And now you can already start sending your images and videos to Discord. You can see here that I send my entire desktop. I can also send only my Maya window, send my viewport, or a Play Blast. You can see it shows you the file size on your viewport. This is because Discord does have some limitations for the file size, but we can tweak our settings to make sure our Play Blast is small enough. Let's take a look at the settings. As you can see, I can use a custom username, and this will replace the name of the bot as it's posting my images or videos. Here, I can also change the extension for my files. And this will affect what information gets sent. You can see that I now have transparency. Of course, I included a reset settings button in case you forgot what the default settings were. And in here, you can also find the settings for Play Blast. In case your file is too big or too small or missing some information, you can always tweak it here. If your webhook no longer exists or you use the wrong URL, you should see a message like that. Of course, none of the buttons are going to work till you go to the settings and update your webhook with a valid URL. If you feel like something is still unclear, include this help window. There's a bunch of extra information in here, and it explains in more details what the limitations are. This script has persistent settings, so you should be able to close the script, close Maya, and when you open it again, you're going to have the same settings and the same webhook. I hope this script is helpful to you. And I see you next time.